In this video tutorial, we will see how to import and execute a mission created with UAV flight map for DJI Pilot. Save the exported KML or KMZ missions from UAV flight map to a micro SD card and insert it into the appropriate reader on the remote control. To import the mission, click on Mission Flight. Then click on KML Import. Now click on Waypoints. On the external SD, click on the name of the file to import, then click on the folder with the file's name. If everything went well, the mission will be imported and displayed on the map. Now click on the pen button on the left to enter mission editing. First, select the drone model. If it's not present in the list, select others. Save the changes made to the mission by clicking on the white button with the floppy disk. We are ready to execute the mission. Click on the blue button. The application will now show a summary screen of the mission parameters. Verify that everything is correct and proceed by clicking on Upload Flight Mission. After the mission upload is completed, click on Start. Now the drone will take off automatically, ascending vertically to the predetermined altitude and then executing the mission. Set the camera's shooting interval immediately by clicking on the window at the bottom left, where the camera feed is displayed. The application switches to camera management mode, and the small window at the bottom left shows the map. Make sure the selector is set to Camera and click on the menu button. Then click on the Photo Mode menu item. After that, click on the Interval option. A table with a list of usable time intervals will appear. We recommend designing missions using one of the suggested intervals. Alternatively, use the closest shorter interval to obtain a greater number of photos and ensure a successful photogrammetric result. In this example, we will use 3 seconds, so click on the number 3s. If the shooting interval has been confirmed, the shutter button highlighted with a flashing red circle will display a stopwatch icon along with the number of seconds. Attention! Always check that the selector is set to shooting and not camera. When the drone is approaching the starting point, click on the shutter button to start automatic shooting. Once automatic shooting is initiated, it is evident from the animated shutter button and the countdown in the center of the screen. Click on the map to return to navigation mode and follow the correct execution of the mission. When the drone is nearing the last point, switch back to camera mode. Click on the shutter button to stop automatic shooting. The stopwatch icon and the seconds will reappear in the button. At this point, the drone will land automatically precisely at the starting point.